Hello everyone and welcome back. Did you ever wonder how did we invent traffic lights? Well, I am here to tell you not only the story, but also to tell you the future of traffic lights, so let's get to it. So first of all, when was the traffic light actually invented? The world's first traffic light was installed on Parliament Square, opposite the Houses of Parliament in London, on December 10, 1868. The growing congestion of horse-drawn carriages at that specific intersection was making it increasingly dangerous for pedestrians in the area. The traffic light installation featured a pillar with a top section resembling a cross. It had semaphore signaling arms, which moved up and down to instruct traffic to move or stop, and red or green gas lights. Designed to replicate the gestures of a traffic policeman, traffic was required to stop when both arms were perpendicular and move on when they were at a 45 degree angle. The red and green gas lamps were used at night. Based on a railway signaling system, it required a policeman to operate. Gas was fed into the mechanism from a pipe in the ground to power the lights. Unfortunately, the first design of the traffic light had a rough start. A gas leak from the supply pipe beneath it triggered an explosion in the traffic light mechanism, injuring the policeman operating it. Deemed a safety hazard, the traffic light was quickly removed and traffic lights were banned altogether for the next 60 years. As automobile traffic increased, American policeman Lester Wire designed the first electric traffic light. It was first installed in Cleveland, Ohio, on August 5, 1914, at the corner of 105th and Euclid Avenue. In 1917, the first interconnected traffic signal system installed in Salt Lake City, with six connected intersections controlled simultaneously from a manual switch. The first color system used in traffic signal systems was based on the navigational lights system used on ships at sea. In 1920, William Potts, a Detroit policeman invented the first four-way and three-colored traffic lights. Detroit became the first city to implement the four-way and three-colored traffic lights. The yellow light used on traffic lights was not introduced until 1921 when William Potts brought the three-colored traffic light to Detroit. Before that, traffic lights were only green and red. Speaking of green and red, in 1920, in a predominantly Irish neighborhood in Syracuse, New York, traffic lights were vandalized frequently. The Irish citizens objected to the red light on top, which they viewed as a symbol of British oppression of Ireland represented by green lights at the bottom. City officials flipped the signals in that neighborhood to have green lights on top. The first traffic lights powered by electricity were invented in 1923 by the African-American inventor, Garrett Morgan. He eventually sold his design to General Electric for $40,000, $730,000 in today's money. In 1928, Charles Adler Jr. developed a sonically actuated traffic light. To operate it, drivers pulled up to a red light and honked their horns to make the light change. Installed in Baltimore, it was the first actuated traffic signal in the United States and served as the basis for modern traffic signals. In 1929, Adler also invented a pedestrian push button, which was installed in Baltimore the first pedestrian actuated signal. In the 1950s, computerized detection used in traffic lights. A pressure plate was placed at intersections so computers would know that a car was waiting at the red light. In the 1960s, as computers improved, they could monitor traffic and change lights in an even more efficient way. So what actually is the future of traffic lights? Well, I have a big surprise for you. You might actually start seeing a fourth color in traffic lights. The fourth color is actually not for humans, it will be mainly for self-driving cars. Humans and self-driving cars see lights in totally different ways. You know how we notice those bright colors and flashing lights? Well, cars just need one steady light to understand what's happening. Flashing lights can signal a change for us, but for the cars, a single light does the trick. It's pretty wild how our brains and their systems work so differently, right? A fourth light, probably white, would be added traffic lights for self-driving cars. 
This white light tells them to keep going unless told to stop. Simple, right? That's all we have about the history and future of traffic lights. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button to see more of our videos.